Well, ladies and gentlemen, the dog's in the house, Pitbull. You want to wonder why I'm here? As you know, the show earlier, there was a couple hours ago, we've been having dark matches, left and right, to keep you guys entertained. Technical issues are sorted. Uh, B there is at the hospital, wild style. Basically went there with her. And with that, I was contacted because I was in the area by Maxine, our boss. You know, the one with the greatest boobs of all time, apparently. I didn't even know this before, but hey. I think everyone agrees there's perhaps a bit of a vote going up on the site right now, and she's getting the best boobs in the world right now. But that's beside the point. The point is, she asked me to come out to be a temporary announcer, temporary judge to replace Wildstyle, and to host the show. So, I know it, you know it, and of course, the crew down well knows it. I'm not going to let you guys down, so I accepted, and I'm out here. And with that being said, uh, let first introduce none other than the beautiful, amazing, our boss, the best boobs in the business. None other than Maxine. As she makes her way down to the ringside, we're quickly going to go through and do the scores from last time. So a few hours ago, because remember this is technically IWD Unbreakables Contest 2024, Show 12, Part 2. At home, you're watching this a week later, but right now, this happened a few hours later. Let's get to school, shall we? Show 12, Team 1, Supernova Tiffy, representing B there on 13 points. This was the start of the show, by the way. Razor on 60, PW Man on 0, and Ferrophorus was also on 0. Uh, the following team muscle on Show 12 was Team 4. We're getting started early tonight. CPW was leading with 8 points, Peggy with 7, Harry Sands with 4, and literally Who with 3. But then after what we saw earlier tonight... We had the full team one, Supernova Tiffy represent and be there on 20. Razor on 10, Furvis on 7, and CPW on 0. We have a total of 37 points. And then the full team of team four, uh, new leader is Harry with 13, CPW woman on 12, so she went down a spot. Peggy 9, Literary Hill 4, total 38. So what that means is the two leaders will be the main event. Of course, the wild cards involved in this, remember. So it'll be Supernova Tiffy represent be there with, with 37 points. Harry's team with 38 points. One point different, people. And the versus, best two out of three falls with the wild card thrown in there. With none other than, probably going to butcher this, El Vikio. And with that being said, even though she's in the main event, so I'll see you later, still one of the active judges and still my beautiful, amazing wife, even if I'm having problems right now. Super Tiffy will be seen in the back because she's only in the main event. And of course, we'll get to do the, the her judging after she's done her stuff. With that being said, can we please go to opening credits as I take a seat next to Maxine. I'm so glad that you're adding the best in the business. Of course, they're my boobs. Because even you, even though you said she's beautiful in that, no. You want me more. Hey, move your hand. Just give him a nice feel, Pitbull. Why not? Why not? And if you want a little smackin', you can have one. After all, you deserve it. After putting up with that wench slut, he's probably humping somebody as we speak. What do you say? I, I know we have a problem, but I don't think she. Hey, wait, what, what the? Mm, 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 mm. Good evening, good Well, hello there. Welcome to Abitopia's Wrestling Domination. This is Chronic Pain Show. Unbreakable Contest 2024. Show. 12! The game is Pro Wrestling X, currently in early access on Steam, where you can buy it. As you can see by the link on the screen, me, Adidopia, and my wife, who is going to be helping out with this, has nothing to do with the game other than buying it and playing it and enjoying it. Same goes for any Fire Pro Wrestling World gameplay that might be used in this video. The link for them is also from Steam, above. This also goes for any AEW Fight Forever, also link above as well, if any is used. The main focus of this particular show will be casual pro wrestling, early access game, with a link from the Steam store also above as you can see now. And also, I would like to add, the opening music you can hear right now is from the title screen from the Pro Wrestling X game itself, as well as being written by Douglas Patrick. Check out his YouTube and hope you enjoy the show. Okay, back. Uh, wow, actually that was great, but wow. Um, we'll get on with the show. Rules for the main event. Since we're only having one main event tonight, you know, the best two out of three falls, etc., uh, are as followed. Three points for winning the match, plus if you get a submission, it's five points, it pins, four points, count out, three points, DQ, two points, uh, draws one point, and get zero if you lose. Uh, the judges' rules we get one point for the best promo, zero for second for each promo match. Main event judging is going to be first. 
and of course Team 7 Wildcard is on 2. And then as you know we'll have our trainers here who's currently Kyla Dream will be the captain trainer uh, for Team 4 so of course that's Harry. We then will have, unfortunately Lucy hasn't been picked yet thanks to what Jess said earlier so Basically, they don't have a trainer right now for be their side. Uh, and also doing a helping hand uh, will be Nora and Claw for Kyla's side. And then finally, we have the main event tonight. What will include none other than Sumo vs Tiffy, my wife, representing none other than be there versus um, Harry Sands versus the wild card El Vikio, who is technically Team Seven, who doesn't have a captain trainer. So let's introduce them. Get them out here and get the promos done, and then let's get this best two out of three falls elimination match underway. And I just want to say, best boobs in the business, boss. Probably the, the best kisser, too. Again, no offense to TV, but there just seems to be passion behind yours, and it doesn't look with my wife. Anyway, again, that was just a kiss and everything, everything that you've done to me, TV. You better not be annoyed at me for just an odd kiss here and there. You know you like <laughs> that. What? Aside the point, but again, it's after what she's been b d doing, the odd kissy doesn't. It's not cheating compared to what she's been doing. Obviously, still wants to sort things out. She's been obsolete and everything. We're not really talking ever since what happened, but still. I gotta say, boss, she's seen a lot more passion than Tiffy. She well, doesn't seem to have passion behind her when she kisses me. That's because she doesn't love you, sweetheart. I think she, she does. Mm. Um, here comes the promos. Move out of the way, Super Love Tiffy, because Harry, it's time to shine, time to talk. You know what? I don't care if you are a veteran. I don't care if you're one of the best in the business. The thing is what I care about is winning. And I'm going to sit on you and get the one, two, three. Because I am that damn good. And as for you, El Vecchio, El Vicchio, whatever you want to call it, what I'm going to call you is a loser because I'm going to beat this wild card and just sit on you too. And to be honest, Tiffy, before you say something, I know how much you enjoy me sitting on you in that. But this time, I can guarantee you won't enjoy my victory as I sit on you in this very ring at the one, two, three, and embarrass you. Because again, I'm a rookie, barely any uh, wrestling time under my belt. I'm like a veteran like you. What are you on defeat at Carnage? One of the greatest women's champions of all time, as you, you state? Well, today, it is my destiny to ride you all the way to victory and back. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I'm El Vecchio, El Vecchio, El Vecchio, whatever you want to call me, because whilst always mess me up. Hey, he's not here, but I'm still the wild card. I say it correctly today, you'll mess me up tomorrow. So that's why I do what I do. I'm the wild card, baby. Can't be voted out, can't lose, can't be out. All I can do is gather, gather points right now. And Supernova Tiffy, I thank you to bottom my heart for picking me and getting me into this uh, and bringing me back. But unfortunately for you tonight, El Vikio has all the appreciation and respect to the world for you. But unfortunately, you're going to have to lose for me to get the point to move on. I, I don't, at the end of the day, remember, remember, you're not actually losing the points when I beat you. It is be there. And just like you, Harry, you're gonna sit on me. I'm too damn quick for you to sit on me. You're gonna go sit, and I'll be gone. I'm basically like Quicksilver. I'm like the Flash. I'm like Lightning, baby. And I'm gonna win it tonight. Oh, please. You both think you're gonna win? That's laughable. <laughs> I'm super nervous, Tiffy, after all. And like you said, I am the best woman in the business. So why would I lose to you, Harry or Henry, whatever? And El Vecchio, I did bring you back, so sorry I have to be the one to put you down. Because I know that I'm going to win, because I am the best. And you're right, I am undefeated at Carnage. And I'm going to keep it that way too. What have you been undefeated at? Nothing. Sorry. Truth hurts sometimes. And I don't mean to be ruthless. But I don't plan to lose tonight. So. Hmm. <laughs> I would wish you luck, but let's face it, you're not going to win, because it's going to be me. <laughs> Bye. Wow. Typical Tiffy's basically on the ball today. You know, so I think the rumors about... She keeps denying being with other people, there's no proof of it, but... But again, I just a really? kiss. 
Well, there isn't real proof, is there? Really? So our kiss is fine. But we're getting a... There's a video in the back. What's this about? I guess we're going to go to it now. So... Huh? It's a motivi? What the? So we then we started then, Harry. You know the drill? After I just gave you the best time of your life. I don't want to get embarrassed out there or anything. So of course you're just going to go lay on your back in that ring. Just like I just laid down on my back for you. Uh, so Motivi, that was, that was absolutely amazing. And I guess the best time of life. But fortunately for you... This is my lifelong dream, after you just sent me to heaven and back. I'm gonna go out there and unfortunately beat you down so I can get my dream of becoming a Hydra with superstar. You know, it was amazing, thanks very much for that. I'll, I'll like to do seconds if we have it, uh, if you ever want to. <laughs> In fact, you two got your panties off there. We're gonna run too, shall we? You son, get my panties. Give me the mouth of your damn mouth. Give me back now. How dare you? How dare you? I'm supernova damn Tiffy, sexiest woman in the world. And after you just went through heaven, this is the way you treat me? Whoa, 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 supernova Tiffy. We're not going to go round two. Then I've got nothing else to say. I'm going to see you in the ring after I beat the snot out of you and secure my dream. Again, it was really nice of you to off yourself like that. And we had a great time, but guess what? How I just use and abuse you just when we get in the ring, I'm gonna use and abuse you again on my way to become an unbreakables winner. Now, get out of the way. Unless you, you want it round two? No? Sure you want round two? You want more of this? You seem to be joining enough a minute ago. What do you say? You're bigger than pit bulls? <laughs> Bearing your husbands every way? <laughs> you piece of when I get you in the ring, I'm gonna destroy you. And who the Dexter? How long have you been there? You better not have recorded any of that, right? You better not have recorded any of that. What do you mean we're about to start in Pitbull here? Why is Pitbull here? He's taking notes. What the? You've got to be kidding me. What? Maxine had his, her dung down his throat? I can't even... That cheating scumbag. How dare you treat me like this? Does he know how lucky he is to be with super damn Tiffy? The sexiest woman on the planet? That's my music. That's my music. Move, move, move. You're upset with me, Super Little Biffy, after a kiss with Maxine, and you're in the back doing that? Wow. Um... I don't say... But I've been, I've been asked for a job, I don't want to let Maxine down. You know, a, a real woman. You know, someone who deserves respect, unlike you apparently. Don't want to let her down, so I'm standing judge. So with that being said, the best... Uh, promo tonight in my opinion in my professional opinion because I know it you know it of course the damn crew knows it no matter what you're doing in the back how you're screwing me over sorry I would say how you screwed everyone else over just so, so to say that to get what you want all the time I can't deny I can't deny you know how much I want to right now how good you are on the mic. And with that being said, my promo point, reluctantly, but professionally, goes to you, Supernova TV. Just, just, you don't come there, be right now. Just get in the ring, do your damn match. Now, now I'm saying do my damn job, okay? Okay? So with that being said, Maxine, can you please uh, do your point? And then we'll, I believe we go to Griffin and Ruthless and get this match underway. Of course. Poor Pitbull. How could you, you slut? Treat this wonderful, amazing guy like that. You know what? I'll, I know it'll treat you. Come here, come here. Come on. Hey, what, 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 are, you, what are you doing? Get his, your tongue out of his mouth! What the? Don't kiss her! Don't kiss him! This is bullshit! You dirty ass slut! Get your hands off my husband! Ugh! Maxine is so slutty! And why do you want what's mine all the time? Is it because you can't do your own thing and get your own stuff? You have to steal mine? What other possible reason could it be? Will you guys please just stop? Uh, 
Finn, smack my butt. Come on. Come on. And you know what? You may call me a slut all the time. Let's do just, shall we? Come on. Who's going to take it? You want to touch my boobs too? You want a kiss? A little kiss, a little smooch smooch. Come on. I'll do anything. And we've obviously found out Dexter's a perv. I mean, everybody found out, but Lindsay, if she does know, then she's still staying with him for some ungodly known reason. Come on. Oh my god, you dirty ass slut. That's why you took my light tubes. I can't find any under here. It's so you can do this. You had this planned all along. Is Pipple in on it too? You know what? We just need to get this match underway. I'm going to do my promo point of the best promo point of the night. And obviously, it's the sexiest super never tiffy in the world. So I'm going to give myself the promo point. And you need to stop this. Come on. You guys are disgusting. It's pathetic, really. I'm done. G give me the mic. Give me the mic. I'm Dexter, cameraman. Uh, there's going to be announcers right now. So, we've got a course happening with this Toss Hockey right now and some little Tiffy and... April, what are you coming over for? Oh, you're going to help. Grab this mic then. Grab this mic. We're about to start. As they just literally pulled the clothes off the down to run the wear and they got to do it in front of the crowd. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, Karumba. I've never seen a, a, this, this lack of clothes and the brown panties. How did they do that? With a lot of ripping. I mean, they haven't really left each other's side, if you know what I mean. I know. I, Karumba. Obviously, April the ref here. Oh, what's the it? Is she. She's grabbing the clothes, I think. She's trying to grab the clothes that just threw off. She's got in her hand, what's she doing with us? She can throw them in the crowd. Well, she's, again, she's throwing a mic on, but she's shouting at them right now. God, she's so disgusting. I don't see what anyone sees in her. I don't know, like, I caught her in the back. Ain't she called me a perv? I'm not a perv. I'm doing my job. I'm supposed to be having the camera for interviews. Not my fault the uh, interviewer is doing stuff in the back. She's a judge, I can out loud, remember. Oh, yeah, she's just, oh, yeah, she just threw them in the back into the crowd. <laughs> Told you. Oh, uh, I mean, stop now. Okay, okay, you stay in the ring now. Wow, well, I don't believe what just came over me. I'm in my bra and pants, holy. Wow, you're a wild kisser, Pitbull. I can't believe I almost did that and lowered myself to supernova Tiffy Sanders in front of this crowd. I apologize, I apologize. You just, ooh. Well, you got to see me a lot more than normal, but that's besides the point. I do this sort of thing in private, and I'm not like super nova tiffy. So, speaking of which, Pip will put your clothes back on. Where's my clothes? Where's my clothes? Super nova tiffy. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me right now? Of course she did. A little unprofessional. We'll have to continue the show without it. The best promo of the night goes to none other than Harry. I, I, I don't believe what the heck's going out there. How, how, how oh, dare you, uh, Pitbull, how dare you treat someone of Tiffy like that? And that thing in the back, I'm, I'm sure that's just some kind of confusion, you know, with Dexter trying to plant and frame some of Tiffy. That's all that's about. Anyway, why there's, are they still doing toss out seriously? In front of this is a ball. Um, I'm the hardest grafter in the business. And with that being said, my, my point goes to none other than... Super Nova TV, the sexiest one in the world. Yeah, please someone stop this, Super Tiffy. This is not on, it's not fair. Wow. How ruthless can you be? I'm still not sure, Maxine, if you truly like Pibble, or if you're just do this to screw with Super Nova Tiffy, because apparently she likes to screw the contestants. And as Griffin elegantly put it, it looks 100% like she did, but. Maybe Dexter at the wrong place, wrong time. Just because she had nothing on and they were talking that way. Doesn't mean it's 100% that they did. I don't know. I'm staying out of it. One thing I'm not staying out of 
is here as the most ruthless promo, and that is none other than Harry. Come on! Wow. Uh, April, what's your thoughts? <laughs> Very quick. Before we um, go back. And she's not wrong. Harper never typically does like to screw with everybody. Well, there's no proof, like she said, so. Come on, Maxine. You know that you want to be like me. I mean, come on, look at this ass. You wish you could have it. You think that you're the best looking person here? Please. I should just disqualify you right now, and that would be there, would be gone. No, oh, please, you wouldn't do that. <laughs> Besides, I'm the best here, and you know it. I don't believe she's shaking it like that. Oh, yeah, she definitely is. Uh, we have the best chat for freeze match now. Um, oh, it was underway straight away. Boom. Then uh, 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 the wild card part of this. We basically got. Oh, the, all three just collided the heads. I can remember. Hopefully, somebody knocks her out. They all got knocked out then. Permanently. Oh my god, look at that! Ow! That could be out with the wild card out already. And it's elimination, so. The order they go out is going to help the point situation here for whoever it goes for, obviously. Oh my god! Everyone's flying all over the place! Dexter, you're not going to wait on the camera then? <laughs> no, I thought I'd stay here after everything that happened with you two. If you two, no offense, boss, get in each other's throats again. We need someone to announce, so. I'm doing this for the company. Oh! He just dropped her mid-air and kicked her in the head! How are you always seem to be in the right place at the wrong time? Who? Me? Dexter. That's what I'm saying, me. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Oh god, they just fucked each other up the steel. You always just seem to be... What? In the worst, like... You always seem to be catching people in the act of doing things that they're not supposed to. Oh, that's basically because I'm doing my job properly. I'm, I'm sent to the back with the camera, and I'm supposed to interview people. And as I'm going to interview them, they just seem to think they go in this little corner or this corner and no one will find them, but my job... As to you know, them. yeah, and to interview them, and obviously that means I'm gonna track them down. Oh, she just spiked him on the head, so I end up catching them in doing stuff. And my job is also to record anything that's involved them while with the show's running. So I let the camera play, and then it's up to the the higher ups up there. I don't know directly with you, boss, or directly with somebody else back there, but to, to decide what's shown on the TV. So if they want to use that footage of them doing something on our property, that's up to them. If they don't want to, but at least I've got the footage for them. Then they're there, they're, oh, that's spiked again. At the end of the day, they're, they're here uh, to do their jobs. They're on our property, anything can go. And I'm supposed to record that, especially when I'm trying to get interviews with them. That's why I'm just good at my job. <laughs> you are good at it. Definitely. You always seem to just get the perfect shot. Yeah, I know, exactly. Oh, whoa, I can remember a lot of the German there by Simon Tiffy. Speaking of which, uh, I've noticed uh, when our bossy, oh my god, the flying out of the ring, is getting the, um, doing interviews, Dexter. They the, the seem to be zooming in on her, you know. My assets? Yeah, a lot. Is that down to you? Well, again, I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm supposed to be doing what the crowd wants. They want to see the boss's boobs. And that's the closer we get to them, so why not zoom in on them? Yeah, why not? Not just you don't do it with the other wrestlers, so to speak. Well, because the, 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 you said about that poll earlier. Have we checked it yet? So I believe it's a, uh, who's who's got the best booze in the business poll. There's also one who people want to see the most, and ninety-one percent the boss is winning the the one of the best booze in the business. And she's basically uh, got 87% right now of who they want to see the most. So, I'm giving the fans what they want. You guys flatter me. Well, that's what the vote is online right now, what we put on our, our thingy. She's also got one of the best tongues of the business, and I don't. And I know I should be saying that because I'm married and all, but after what she's been doing <laughs> out there... I can imagine her in that. Because I'm obviously with one of the best women in the world, and Lindsay and everything. But if Lindsay ever basically said, uh, is there someone you want to be with on the side? Or, you know, maybe we, we, we spent with a threesome. So I won't do it behind the back or anything. 
But if it was anything like that, I'd probably put the boss up there. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. And then it's probably trailed by a uh, sky and and Jess. But like the no offense to boss, I still think Lindsay's got the full package. Even if I do have to admit your what I've seen of your assets, boobs wise, do seem to beat hers, but she has more than just the boobs. She's her personality, her body, everything. And that's why we're, I'm with her. Even though you do peek a boob slightly. Only slightly. <laughs> but then again, I'm not seeing inside, so they could be absolutely. No, no offense to you, in any shape or form, absolutely awful inside if you see the nipple area. It could be absolutely awful. You really think they're awful? Personally, no, but I kind of uh, push for that. <laughs> That's real, April's still sitting here. You let him. I thought you were going to ref this, but you got. Um, oh my god, his name has escaped me who he is. He's refing right now. Exactly. Nobody cares who he is. As this triple threat keeps going, and Supernova Tiffy just. Oh, she got bounced off the ropes! Let's face it, it should be me. But what the power though, to go Tiffy there? But no, everyone's afraid that I wouldn't be fair, please. I'm always fair. You seem to be. Oh, to Tiffy. Oh, of course, you're only going to go high then. You know, this is very awkward, Pitbull. Well, what is? You're sitting with your underwear. Well, that's because Super Tiffy's pro. Her throat, the, no, fault I meant, sorry, by throwing it out there. You know, the, uh, my clothes would disappear because of her. Well, you did kind of strip them off. No, 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 be fair, the boss stripped them off. And I stripped hers off, there's a difference. Speaking of which, we'll go to the back. Is it Kyla, probably? Kyla Dream, and wow, what a show we've had. I don't believe it. Not only is one of my team members, as I told you, the Dream is here to stay. It is in the final right now, unfortunately. I don't understand what the other dream of getting a supernova tiffy, but hey, at least you're not going to lay down for her anymore, especially when it counts in the damn ring. So you had your fun. <laughs> and I can't blame you for that at the end of the day, now can I? I don't know what it is about supernova tiffy, but people just seem to like her, so well done. You had a dream and you went and grabbed it, just like you're going to grab the other dream tonight of once again. Getting her on the back with the sum of the one, two, three, and beating El Vikio or whatever his name is. Because at the end of the day, he was also Supernova Tiffy's pick. But you're going to come out on top because you're part of Kyla Dream's team. And unfortunately for B there, you picked Supernova Tiffy, who's completely distracted no matter how gorgeous she thinks she is in the ring. You're not going to be going through. Because my team is. Sorry about that, B there. After the hell you've been through tonight, after what your sister put you through and all that, unfortunately for you, you're on the wrong side of the dream. Okay, we're back, so... Kyla thinks a lot of people like Supernova Tiffy and stuff, well, I guess it's true. At the end of the day, I married her. Even though apparently she's in the back cheating I on me. I don't understand that one. Me either. But again, like, look at her, she, she's gorgeous. Even though, like I said, she's... Not got the boobs you have, boss, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Nobody does, sweetheart. Nobody does. And again, I've seen that she's just determined, and I thought she was a loyal person, but obviously not. Yeah, determined to screw you over. And everybody else out there. Dexter, shut it. Sorry. Uh, he's not wrong. Say you're not wrong. Oh, God, he's on top of her. Well, like he was in the back. Dexter, stop it. Don't need this. Don't be mad at Dexter. Like you said earlier, he's just doing his job. Oh my god, what's she doing to him? Hmm. Apparently what he was doing to her earlier. Dexter, seriously! I'm sorry, I'm just putting out the mouth. Isn't that what we do as commentators? I guess, technically. He, don't I'm worry, Dexter. He's just a little salty. Oh, on the top rope? Well, of course. My wife's been cheating on me and stuff. Everybody's been telling you that, though. But I don't know what to do, like... to, to do. Because I don't, I don't know if it, it should give her a chance or not. Maybe she's playing it, I don't know. But like I said, so they had kiss here and there. I feel like, you know, it's like conversation what she's done. So 
I'm just confused now. That's what, it'll go, okay, why we stopped out there. A, being professional, and B, I'm still loyal to her, even what she's done. That's why I didn't pull any more off you, boss, and go right there on you. If I wasn't with her, you know, and, and I might have done it then. Again, I don't know if we could show that, but I would have, I would have captured every moment of the camera, though, for you. <laughs> Thanks, you De thank you, Dexter, I think. Oh, Le Viking was on top of Asumo Tiffy then, giving a good pounding. I wonder if he's done that in the back, too, probably. Dexter, seriously? <laughs> Dexter can't help himself. Well, again, I'm, I'm pointing out... I'm, I'm not a commentator, I'm a cameraman, I'm an interviewer. I'm pointing out the commentary right now. That's all I'm doing. He's just a little salty, Dexter. Just, just like Sumo Tiffy's now on top of El Vikio, like it could have happened before now. Dexter, stop, seriously, right at this point. I'm trying to be professional here. So is Dexter, though. And again, no offense, uh, Pitbull, you can in your underwear. That's not that professional. Again, that's beside the push on Tiffy stole my club after you took him off, we said. No, no, the boss took him off, get it right. Stu doesn't make you that professional. Yeah, exactly. And if I didn't take take hers off, and she didn't take mine off, the crapper would have took hers off with her eyes. Hey, Pitbull, come here for a minute. Oh, God, they're over it again. Oh. Yep, yeah, the tongue's getting down there, and... Oh, okay, you oh. did this because they can't get their hands on you. They did distract you with Tiffy, who's staring right at me as we speak. Both. Yeah, it's probably both at the moment. I don't think Pitbull's a distractor on purpose, but I think the boss might be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Super Tiffy just got caught. He could be doing it to get back at her, though. Yeah, he could be doing that, too. Like, they just literally just have camera in front, stu tongues down each other's throat. As Harry's mounting Super Tiffy, just like he did early in the back. But this time he puts pants on as she has. Oh, look where he's pinning her from! His head's down on the crotch, and, he, and oh. Super Tiffy's eliminated! He pinned by sticking his head in his crotch. In her crotch. Didn't see that one coming. Wow, she got distracted, so the veteran just got embarrassed and pinned. Oh my god, ow! <laughs> yeah, look. I think she deserved it. Yeah, look, the, the, the boss is stopped now. And look, she's, she's shouting over at her, like, like waving at her and stuff. As soon as Tiffy's leaving. Hi, Karumba, I guess they'll be back over in a minute because we got these right in front of us. Don't want to interfere in this match. Oh! Ow, just hit the table in front of us, April! That looked like it hurt. Oh, oh, don't push the table on us! Ow, 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 ow! It's on my... Oh, ow! Pull it off! Ow! It's on my... my legs! Ow! Ow! Fudge! It's on my legs! Oh, oh, oh no, sorry about that, guys. I'm not... Well, glad we went over here. <laughs> you two looking in a compromised position over that table. Yeah, again, Can you please get this off of us? Yes! This pinning me down! Fine. Oh, big babies. Yeah, at least pull your out and um, set the table for the second. Hi, Karamba. So, uh, I kind of missed. Where's the Tiffy gone? What happened? She got out because you distracted her. I didn't do nothing. I was just, like, being kissed by the boss. Yeah, snogging the boss. Well, April, you're jealous. <laughs> no, I have somebody. Oh, one, two, and Haru, two pins. Wow, if I'm not mistaken, he's leading this competition now. And that means uh, B there, unfortunately, for her, is going to be going out. Unless Super Love Tiffy can win match two and maybe match three. Because obviously she's going to come back out here in a minute as we go through these, these match replays. Drop kick there. That was incredible. Drop kick and he kind of got fleeked out and tangled up in the in the uh, security railing then. And then she got dropped in the head in the middle of a suplex. He kicked... And he basically just dropped her on the head. That had to hurt. Mm -hmm. Not as much as she's been hurt my heart today, that's for sure. Well, you seem to be getting over pretty fast with the boss over there. Yeah, you do. No, no, there's a difference. My heart is here breaking, and the boss is helping me get through it. Okay, here's a question. With her okay, tongue. Well. It's amazing tongue. Again, Dex, if you I feel if you tried it, you would say the same. That'd be great, you know, again, have Lindsay. She has the best tongue in the business. Okay, here's my question to you, Pebble. What? She cheated on the person that she apparently loves the most, which is Ivatopia. Or Ivan. Yeah, with Ivatopia. Yeah. Multiple times. Yet you didn't think she would cheat on you? Oh, well, yeah, because like, I... Make that make sense, buddy. And then we got the replay. Oh, God, wow. Even from the side, we look like a good kisses. 
No way. Mm-hmm. Well, again, when I go in a relationship, I'm going because I trust the person. The same thing happened with, with, with Gwen, didn't it? She did the same to you with Stryker. Yes, I know. Yeah, you get played a lot. Well, I'm currently playing Todd's Holly with the boss, so... I'm the one playing the game now. When I sit here in my underwear. Again, by someone to be thrown into the crowd. You owe me the money for them clothes. And for the bosses, too. And other things. <laughs> yeah, you're not mistaken. You've been in two relationships and they both messed you around. I'm still with Lindsay and we're going strong. You have to rub it in. <laughs> It's because Lindsay, does, Lindsay doesn't play games. Yeah, exactly. Lindsay is sexy and loyal. While well, Supernova Tiffy, like everyone can tell you, isn't. But of course, you gave it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I know, and I'm still not sure if we're over or not at this point. We've got a lot of thinking to do. I don't see what you have to think about, no offense. This is the final pin. Well, again... Love with her. I can't, I can't feel to just break that apart with me like that. So, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, we've got the next part two. Oh, match two out of the two out of three. So, Super Lotif, he really needs to win this. Preferably eliminating Harry first, so he gets no points. Or, I think actually, come to that, he will get maybe one point, but he gets the least amount of points. And then, oh, speaking of Harry, he could fly over here. And then he needs to then eliminate Leia Vakio, then she would then be leading this. Especially if she doesn't have submissions, the highest amount of points she can actually earn is for submissions. Then she, her and B, well, for B, their sake, would be actually ahead of this situation. But yeah, I can see from her why you fall for her, because like, she, other than her personality, as we've seen, she's not loyal, but she does a nice body out there. I can see you, why you fell for her that way, Pitbull. Because mm. like, her butts is very nice. Again, it's not as good as Lindsay's. But still, you know, if you had to go out there and pick good butts, I probably w would pick uh, Supernova Tiffy's after Lindsay's, and I cannot lie. I'm say, um, maybe third, since the boss just bent over to pick something up. <laughs> okay, Lindsay's the boss, then Supernova Tiffy's. But that's what I said to Stan, she still has a good butt. Who has a good what now? I'm, I'm kind of distracted right now, mm. with the Dexter, what we're saying. Um, butts, they're, they're good. Yeah, I, I know they're good. Especially the one in front of us right now. <laughs> um, did we miss the match? What do you mean the match? We're on match two right now. Oh, yeah. What are we talking about? Did we miss the match? Are you staring at her butt too, April? No, I was just thinking of somebody. Sorry. I got distracted for my own reasons. Okay, I, 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 I feel... Why's my, why's my phone going off? It's probably your girlfriend. What? I did, Lindsay? What, what do you mean? What do you mean staring at her? No, 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 no. Um, again, cameraman, gotta get the footage. I'm gonna use the camera right now. Technically not. I'm just used to having the camera in front of my eyes, so I, I kind of switch up my eyes with the camera. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, fine, I'm sorry. But I, I, I did say you you got the best button I remember. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. But I also said you had the second best boob. Oh. Well, again, have you seen the boss's boobs? Seriously. Yours are amazing, absolutely the best out there, but then look at the bosses. Somebody's in trouble. What do you mean you would have to look at them? What? But, but, but boss, this is weird. Can I take a picture of your boobs to send to, to my girlfriend a second? Sure, why not? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get a couple of angles quick so you can see. Okay, she has the bra on now, but... Okay. Obviously, I'm not, like, super negative. Okay, send. Okay, you should be receiving them now, Lindsay. Obviously, she's not going to take the bra off. 
Oh, okay, so you're saying yours is the best under the bra, but look at the top, you, you, you understand where I'm coming from. What? You're not a lesbian anyway, but she might make you turn. Oh, oh, okay, we'll, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> I'm okay now, yeah, we're good, yeah, yeah, okay, good, thank you, love you too, you love you, yeah, bye, bye. Okay, yeah, yeah, babe's changed her mind. She said if she ever turned lesbian, it'd be for you. <laughs> After seeing them, she still says she has the better ones underneath the bra, but for the top bit of your shoulder, she admits that she thinks, she, oh, it's from the crowd. She thinks yours is actually better than hers. Oh, well, yeah, of course they are. I just realised as soon as the TV just went in the crown and her butt just smashed into a fan's face. I'm sure they enjoyed it. Or they got diseased. Because oh. she's been with that many people. Excuse me, I I've been with my wife as well, at least once or twice, and I don't have anything. Oh, sorry. Well, once or twice, you've been married for over a year now, haven't you? Not quite. Because me and Lindsay, we, when we got together, we did it like four or five times the first few days. Actually, for the first few months. So it's, it's it's calmed down a little bit now because with ID we being off air and stuff, we're not travelling together, we're not being here. But every weekend I go back and we do it three or four times. Maybe even more. How do you know, boss? You've been watching us. So you only done it a couple of times, really? Yes. And because she, every time we got contact, she doesn't. She's busy. She want to do it. And I'm just pointing out that you probably do it more times because she brags about you all the time. So no, I, nobody has been watching you. Ew. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, I thought, but it's normal when you get married that you know you do it less because that's what Sumo Tiffy just said. And she's busy half the time. So we did. We basically did, did it a wedding night. And then we probably done about three times since then. And she says that's normal. She said when she was going out with people, she does it more. I think you're her first marriage, though. So how would she know? She, she says she got the information from Avatopia because he's been married so often. You know, as I know, Avatopia did a lot when he was married. He does it a lot regardless. How do you think he got all these baby mamas? Maybe she's saying that because she was trying to avoid being with you because she's off doing it with everybody else under the sun. Like who? I don't know. She could be doing it with anybody you could think of. What, like you? Well, no, 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 not me. Not me. Anybody no. other than me. Other than me. I, I, Lindsay, me, me, and Lindsay, me and Lindsay, me and Lindsay. Me and Lindsay, no one else. Well, I'll watch out you say it then. I'm, I'm, my temper's a little high right now. I even, she, uh, I even thought her she did it with Griffin, and I followed them around, and she never did it with him. You followed them? Yes, that's why I tapped him. Remember, and then I ended up losing that stupid match with him. I got hurt. <laughs> but then I afterwards, after I was at the hospital, got out with it, followed her around, and she didn't go with him once. So I thought, oh, she's telling the truth. Mm. Did she avoid Griffin now? Have you thought about this? Because uh, she is basically knows you think she's with Griffin, so she avoids Griffin and then goes with someone else. I didn't think about that. No, I didn't. <laughs> Did she go to any other places where there was uh, re wrestlers there, especially? Um. She definitely hooked up with Griffin that night. Totally. No, she didn't. She was not with Griffin. I followed Griffin. I literally followed her to Griffin place and she d avoided Griffin's place and then I started following Griffin make sure he never went near her. Sure so you left her then when you were following Griffin? Yes. Are you sure it was Griffin you were following? Yes, it was Griffin. Yes, in fact, um, I, started, I started following Griffin over her because she actually met up with this uh, this couple and they went in a, went under this direction. So I started following Griffin from that point on. Now that I think about it though, I recognise that, that female, that's the one that two on TVs would keep me on an affair with. But to that day, I've never seen her before. Even though I didn't have the affair. Hmm. I don't know. It's, it's just weird. Maybe weird as soon as she gets hit in the back of the head there, Pitbull. Oh, two plates on her head, ow! So you knew? I knew what? The couple? No, I didn't know them. That's the time I seen them. Next time, I'm thinking about it. I saw her. She was the one who was supposed to be giving me that massage thing. And then she was oh, she's pinning it. One, two, 
Free! Oh, she eliminated him. Well, that, well that's what she needs to do. Now she's got to do El Vecchio and she's backing it for... Um, be, be, be there. No, I didn't know the couple. But I, and now I didn't put two two together. But that one that basically was giving me the massage and then started to try something over me and I pushed her back. Who then soon did excuse me on the fair with. I think that was her who was with that couple that day. Her, this guy in Two and Tiffy when I was following Griffin, I, I veered off of old Griffin. And a few weeks later, that massage thing happened and, and she accused me. So that seems suspicious to me. I don't know. But I didn't even think about it until you just made me think about when I was following him that day. Because I didn't thought nothing of it. I thought, oh, there's a couple of... Uh, they must be fans or she knows them or something. And, but it's Griffin the one she's going to be with. So I followed Griffin to make sure we didn't meet back up later. And they never did. Hmm. The camera clutch, oh, is he going to tap? So we're going to find out. Pitbull, because if he taps here, that's going to, like you said, going to really add to Supernova Tiffy's chances to come back in this. Or oh, Pitbull specifically for Be There. Right now, uh, with the opening match, Be There would be probably out of this competition. So Super Tiffy needs to win this. It would have been better pinning him for... No, actually, that's the right way to think about it, isn't it, Pitbull? Oh, don't do that power bomb. One, two, and she did it. That's the best way to do it. Mm. Or they get submissions there, but she tried for submission. Mm. Get Harry out first and get him. That's put her back on I top. I believe she won. Well, it's best two out of three. It's everyone, anyone's to goals now, isn't it? Basically, I feel whoever wins this next match is going to have enough points for their team to go through, and the other team is gone. It's not just uh, be, be there. It's a whole team, remember, online. Just like it's Harry's whole team here they're fighting for, not just himself right now. So we go to the replays. But if they could maybe like eliminate El Vikeo, because he's just because again he can't be eliminated right now. He's the wild card. He all he can do is stack extra points up. There's gonna be a point in the show where his points are gonna matter and he can be eliminated from it. But at this moment in time, in this particular match, he, he's just stacking points. Only Harry's team and Supernova Tiffy's well technically to be squares. Uh, sorry, be theirs team. Sorry, be theirs team can be eliminated from the results of this with their overall points. Uh, El Vicio, even if he's a complete loser in this match, matches, gains zero points, what, whatsoever cannot be eliminated today. Obviously, I will affect him later on. Oh, that moonsault there, she's just both out. And over the top rope, see that? Bang! Back of her head. Ow. Yeah, that does hurt. So what's your thoughts? So I guess it's the best chance to do it while it goes through the replays with one match to go. On the next match, who do you think is going to win that match? Will Sumo Tiffy win? Will Harry win? Or will El Vikeo? What's your thoughts, uh, Maxine? Hopefully anybody but Supernova Tiffy. Okay, El, El Vikeo and Harry, who do you think is going to win? Since you're saying Sumo Tiffy is going to lose. say Harry. Okay, April, what do you think? Ow! Oh, I'm trying to bring his back I'm there. I'm going to go with El Vikeo. She's technically Supernova Tiffy's pig, but she doesn't want to win at this point because then she would lose. Okay, Pitbull, who do you think is going to win or want to win? <sighs> I don't know. I'm mixed because part of me is so upset with Supernova Tiffy with everything. And I'm mixed with that. And so part of me, if it wasn't upset with the situation, I would probably say I want Supernova Tiffy to win. But with being upset with, I kind of don't want her to win. But then I feel I'm being a bad husband and not supporting in that way. So I guess whatever, I'll just stick to who... I think we'll win, and unfortunately, if you like it or not, I, I, I think she goes Supernova Tiffy because she's the veteran here. So, but, but at the same time, the other two could double team her, and that could eliminate a vet, vet, that veterinarian, so to speak. So you're going with Supernova Tiffy. I guess I kind of have to. Okay. Hmm. What about you, Dexter? Hmm. Again, I'm not. Uh, so everyone's going for something different here, haven't they? Mm-hmm. So somebody's gonna... Well, I have to double up with somebody here. Uh, I don't... Uh, I kind of feel I always like to stay uh, neutral to this stab since I can't pick my own person. Um, I feel the fires are super of Tiffy right now. As... Oh, oh, oh what's she doing? Ha, huh, I know I'm gonna win this, bitch. Hopefully you enjoy the show. <laughs> Oh, we're enjoying it a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah, just just stay there. So you, to, you don't need to come over here. What are you doing? Come on. You thought I'd lose. 
Dead Neo. I'm never gonna lose. <laughs> well, technically, you lost the first match, but. Oh, zip it! Seriously, she's still treating me like that? Considering what she's done? I don't know, Pitbull. Well, it's up to you with your relationship is weird. It's weird. Anyway, like you said, the last match. It is kind of weird. I don't see how. I married someone I was in love with, and I thought she married me because she was in love with me, and yet apparently she's going behind my back with people. Everybody knew that she wasn't in love with you. Everybody knows she's in love with Ivan. Yeah, but uh, firstly, Ivan's not even part of this. Because obviously at the end of the day, I thought he was kind of with April, wasn't he? Of course he's with me. Well, well, he's always said that they're on and off, because remember, they've still got a match when uh, Chronic Pain comes back, and the winner of Suno Tiffy and April gets free dates with him. Maybe she's holding off until then. Maybe that's why he's holding off, committing 100% with it, with uh, uh, with April, because he wants to get, because you'll see he wants to get through that match first. Maybe he'll get back to Suno Tiffy if she wins it. He's never going to get back with Supernova Tiffy. He's going to stay with me. We all know this. Okay, just The only just... person that doesn't is her. Okay, well then why is that committed 100% to you then? You're still kind of, what's it called, um, loose or whatever the word is. He just has to focus, that's it. I didn't think of that. That's why I thought when she married me, that was them done with. I don't know, I've got a lot to think about. Anyway, since... Let's see what there's to think about. We should dump the bitch. Hey, yeah, come on, I see my wife there. And you know what, we need to go on who I'm picking, the Dexter. So let me get back to it. But, oh, drop it back in head there. But I, I'm leaning with Harry or Supernova. Tiffy, who just landed on the... Okay, after that, Harry. I'm going to go... I'm leaning more with Supernova Tiffy being the veteran, but after just drop, being dropped on the neck like that, I, I'm going to go with Harry. So I'm with Harry to win it. It's probably because of how much she weighs. What are you talking about? Obviously, he just couldn't support her weight. He just kicked her through the ring. Oh, powerbomb. No! Oh, she just drunk it to a bit of powerbomb. Oh, and he low blowed her. Ow. Oh, she, she just knocked him onto each other. She's kind of using Harry's weight against him by knocking him onto uh, El Vicio there. Or El Vicio. How does his name say? Because he never said it properly, has he? And he always said it's good a wild style. He has said it right. It's El Vicio. El Vicio. Oh, low well, blow. Okay, this match is getting very low blowy. The, the rest are allowing a lot to go here. Honestly, because they're not that very good. If it was me, I wouldn't let any of the stuff slide. So, well, Tiffy going to top rope again. Now, that's a view. It's oh, not God! A very good one. She just crushed him with that. With her legs wide open. Mm, she's used to that. Seriously, oh damn, Maxine. What? Hey, Karumba, again, that's my wife still. I'm sorry if the truth hurts. What hurting right now? Well, one thing that doesn't seem to be hitting you is Maxine's tongue. Maybe that happens again, and you, you basically feel better again. That seems to be uh, the was it the medicine for you? <laughs> Very funny. Well, did with April. That seemed to make you feel a lot better. Are you agree, April? Mm-hmm. As we're getting some kicks, and until so Tiffy got back to her feet, he was then picking out Vakio up and just oh dumped him through the ring. Oh, when did she went flying herself? That's oh god, Harry, Harry, oh. Mm. So Tiffy's lucky she didn't catch all that. I don't think he caught it all. I think he got the apron more. Hey, Crumble, she's got El Vicio and they're both double teaming him. Oh, she smacked him in the face. El Vicio's turning back around. Oh, they're working on Harry. Oh no, he's picking her up. Oh, he dropped her as a... Wow, El Vicio, they tripped over her. Mm -hmm. I think he hit her, uh, her as she was trying to pick Harry up or whichever way we're around it was, sorry. And then she, uh, he tripped over her. Trying in the ring. Oh, backdrop! Ah, Karumba, with that big guy going in the air. The ring shook then. Power bomb! That's how she pinned him before. And. Oh, he's mounted El Vicio. It's the same person he's mounted today, isn't it? Still going to earlier. I'm talking about the match. I'm talking about the match and earlier. Dexter, please stop it. Uh oh, he's going high. You were just the only person that didn't see it. Well, well technically, uh. We all saw the video, so everyone saw it. 
A month before that, Dexter G's. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I got some good camera angles in it. Oh, one, two! Uh oh, that ain't good. Supernova Tiffy. I wanted you to look at the Titan Tron. This is a surprise I had for you earlier tonight. The reason Be There had a free pass is because I asked her to come forward with anyone else, especially contestants that any of the judges had been with with proof. And she gave me that and her and any contestants a free pass. Roll the footage. What's this? Be there, once again, pretending to be her sister, B-Square, but this time, going down on none other than Supernova Tiffy. And you can hear in the background, we'll play it in a second. This is how I get extra points, right Supernova Tiffy? Of course, as long as you're better than Andre, that is. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> he's giving you a run for your money right now. So you see we have it's heavily censored here, but there's Andre there as well. So guess what, Supernova Tiffy? Guess what? After your match, you are officially fired as a judge, and you are banned from Unbreakables for the rest of the series. Two to lose, you stupid ass slut bitch. <laughs> Holy Why? fudge! Seriously? You had the, you had the video the whole time! Just... <laughs> Oh my god, so that's why B Square and B There's allowed in it, and I guess Andre's fine. So you Tiffy's shocked, and the uh, thing got pinned, and she ran straight into Harry, she's not even paid attention. Oh, paid attention! P Pimple, what's your thoughts? I. 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 Exactly, he's I. I. Whatever that means, as if she taps out, it's all over. No, she hung in there, she got to the drops. I don't think she tapped out. I was so close to her, she's taking a beating in the butt as we speak. She's such a slut. I don't even see what Ivan sees in her. Or seen, I should say. Well, what about Pitbull? Pitbull just has bad taste in women. No offense, pity you always have. He seems to be liking the boss Maxine earlier. So, you see, that's a bad choice there, uh, April. Yeah, but he's not married to her. Now is he? I guess tell her, but this is his first marriage. Because he, he was going to marry uh, Gwen. Well, yeah, or did they get married? I don't remember. I don't remember. Who knows? He was going to a walls. I don't remember. He seemed to pick people who want to destroy him. And, again, I don't know if the boss is just doing this to get Super Tiffy if she really likes him. Like, I, I, I'm not sure there's a passion behind them. So even if she's doing to get Super Tiffy, I think there's some kind of passion. There is something there, but I just don't know if she wants him that way. As soon as gets back in the ring and somehow she's hanging in there. After she almost got destroyed on the outside there. Oh, sorry, she almost destroyed Harry. But then I guess that's a... She might have done that too. Who knows? Done what to? Destroyed Harry. Oh. Oh, she's trying to now. Oh, you mean early before they came out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, got you, got you. Hey, it might seem just... She's kind of just standing near the apron. She's I think she might be waiting to do something. I don't know. Because I know she keeps... It looks like she keeps shouting at Super Mario trying to distract her. Pitbull, you gonna say anything by the way? I, I don't know what to say right now. I honestly don't. The cameraman's just keeping um, Maxine out of shot here. Well, no offense. As a good cameraman, I'll be, if Maxine's there, I'll be trying to keep it in shot. That's what the fans want to see. Oh, she's dumped on her head. Legs flying in the air. Oh, she's up off her back. Oh, he's got her from behind, and he's, oh my god, he shoved it in hard, and she went through the ropes, ow, that had to hurt. Oh my god, he almost dumped her head again, and she's on all fours. But, uh, I can't feel this is, what, if we, when we watch the video, we we'd be describing what happened earlier too with them two. Yeah. Not just in the ring right now. And she's now got him on his back, and she stuck a boot in. She helped him up, and oh my god, she's gone berserk, she's got him in the corner, and she's punishing him. Oh my god, she's staring at him. She, and she's, oh, she got back in the ring. Oh, Harry got into. They got hold of each other and she scooped up under his crotch area and gave him a body slam there. She probably scooped under there earlier too. Oh, she's picking up by the head. Leading him to what to do. Oh, she's, she's going high now. She probably did that earlier too. And she's flying cross body. Oh my god, do you see that? This is a different head. 
Speak of his head, he's got all over the place. Hmm. But it was earlier under her as well. Oh, she's on top of him, she is mounting him, and she is pounding him, and she's pounding him. I think Maxine's up to something again. She's getting she was getting him really deep then in him. Mm, just like he was doing her earlier. Probably. I, I kinda feel the uh, Pitbull's in kinda of shock over here. He's just kinda of like not really moving, just staring his eyes wide open. He's not taking anything in right now. That's okay. You okay there, mate? Okay. He's mm. he's cannot say anything. Oh, she's dragging <laughs> by his legs. She's got his legs open. She's turned around and she's giving it to him now. My God, look at her shove it in and out. She's really yanking, getting the pressure on him there. Bend him in the pretzels almost. The back to the feet. She's just whipping him. Oh, she's kicking him a bit low there. That's a bit low blow, isn't it? Smacked him across the face. Oh, what's she doing to him? She's trying to yank him through the ropes with his legs then. So I guess she gave him pleasure earlier and now she's trying to end his little dingling. <laughs> Assuming it's a dingling. Sorry, I don't mean to insult you. Maybe, maybe it's huge, I don't know. I don't go around looking at the guy's dinglings. I just know uh, my, my mind satisfies uh, Lindsay. That's what matters. Oh, in the air. Ow. I feel, I don't know where the points are right now, but I feel whoever gets the pin or submission for this, is teams will come through. So will Tiffy for uh, be there, Harry for his side. Oh, and apparently she's not going to be a judge. Oh, she's on all fours. He set her up on all fours then gets her from behind. So what's going to happen to all the points that she gave? Or is it just from here on out? I guess I've like seen. I'm assuming the points will stay. It's just from an hour she won't be a judge. Remember there used to be four judges and two. Maxine tried to get rid of Super Tiffy and then Super Tiffy came back that, oh, she can't do that. And that's why Maxine stayed out, didn't she? And we kind of got an extra judge recently. Oh, she couldn't get him in the air then. It's a nope. So I kind of uh, feel that the points need to stay. But, but and maybe to be fair, I don't know Max, how to talk to Maxine about, but to be fair, we have one more of these shows where these teams can get eliminated. They've had the same amount of points, but next show, oh, if Super City's gone, it won't be. Maybe they need to bring someone else to so do the points for the guest. And after that, they go back to, down to four judges. Here's the thing do you think Super Dove is really even trying right now? I don't know, not really, because I, I, I kind of feel she's trying to annoy, uh, anno not annoy, uh, annoy Maxine at the same the time. Car. Yeah, at the same time, she's show shots of what's just been shown. Yes, that's heavily censored, but that does mean um, it, more than likely. Oh my God, put his head through her legs. More than likely, Maxine's got hold of that, and our production team's heavily censored it for the, the public here, meaning the full-on version is not censored. And as we know from what Maxine just said, if we, we understand it right, she thought she was with Andre, what everybody suspected, and she thought she was with B Square when it was actually B there pretending to be her sister. And bit that the reason B there has been let let off because she said Maxine, if I understand it right, go to um, oh wait one second one second, like getting hooked to and Harry's done it. See that's my point. I don't think that her. Yeah, I don't think she cared because the person that screwed her over is the person she's supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. Replacing in a sore speed. Yeah, and keeping in this competition. So I think yeah, I understand that. But, I, but what my understanding of what was said was correct. Maxine basically told them that if you can come forward uh, with any contestants that have been with any judges, we will give you and any of the contestants a bye. And then she came forward with her super Tiffany and Andre. So Andre is obviously won't get in, in trouble for this either. But I don't know if he even knew about it. Like, obviously, if him super Tiffany doing it in the back a lot, like people suspected, that means how how did be there as pretend to be B Square went all the way into that situation? I guess she took that knowledge and went for it. Like, that was wow. Yeah, the, the body slam through the ropes and I do like I don't want to put this out there but technically the reason Super Noel has been fired as a judge is for the rules the contestants influenced her she literally said it on there and I, I also feel that's why I'd be there said this how I get more points type thing guaranteeing she'd get some more points and obviously it didn't happen because she got found out well, that means she's been influenced, but the boss 
by re re releasing that now and she's supposed to be looking after B Square as we see earlier when she's trying to distract her and the, the video gets a little bit of video we shown here didn't the boss just influence this match and technically hurt that team mm -hmm. so is there going to be consequences for that or not I don't think the boss was thinking about that when she did that because she could have revealed this at the end and then, then she wouldn't influence the match she, she, she's again been snogging Pitbull over here who's still a zombie by the way to distract him and Tiffy, what's invertly affecting Be There as much. So I kind of feel that like the boss has has influence has been influenced too in a way, but differently. I don't know if that means her supports go away or she gets suspension. But then again, she's the boss, so the only person who can challenge her for it is obviously Jess. Yeah. But since. Supernova Tiffy came back because of Jess. I don't know what deal they had to get them back to hate each other. Let's see if that stands, if she can do anything to her, or if she even cares. She's probably back doing somebody else we speak, Jess. <laughs> you know, getting her urges co 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 covered and all that. Like, you know, she's almost jumped me two or three times. It's been very close. I've had to burst out of there to stop it. And I do have to admit, if, if I wasn't. I think she tries to stop herself around you. Yeah, though. she does, because it says because of Lindsay. And like I do, I will admit, she is a, she's beautiful, she's sexy, and if it wasn't for Lindsay, if me and Lindsay weren't a thing, I probably would give it a try, would you? She, she, little secret, I do watch her only fans, hey. <laughs> Lindsay's aware of it, she, she's fine with it. So hopefully Lindsay knows. Yeah, she said, she said, I'm alone with the only fans here and there, as long as I don't do anything with them. Says we're in the role sometimes. She said she's got her own only fans one here, apparently. I don't know who it's of. Because uh, I said, because she goes, I can tell you yours. I said, I don't want to know something male in it. And she's, yeah. She said, no, no, you get yourself. As long as nothing really happens. So I'm not, uh, 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 I don't know who she watches. But I've got Sky7 and Jess. They're pretty darn good. And I wouldn't mind throwing the boss in there if she ever did one, but I don't think it's going to happen. And I wasn't actually thinking about it. If you ever decided, April, I did watch your little cameo you did. That's not bad. Mm, thank you. I'm flattered. You're welcome. I, Ivan Reavers did a good choice with you. Mm. And here's Harry celebrating. I guess we're going to go to the points now. Pitbull, do you want to cover this? Uh, 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 okay, 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 I guess I'll do this. Yeah. Okay. It's okay, Pitty. Maxine's kind of over there laughing in the corner. Okay, I'll try and do this. 14 1, Supernova Tiffy will be there. 37 points, Razor 10. For 57, CPW Man 0, 54 points. Is this before they started or is this the full thing now? I'm not 100% sure because I've done this before. 14 4 is Harry Taz with 38, CPW Woman with 12, Peggy 9, literally who for 63 points. Was this before the show or what was this? Super Nova TV be there 37, Harry 38, El Vankio, uh, Wildcard with 7. Okay, I think this is the current points for the overall thing, isn't it? Again, I'm not used to doing this, I wasn't planning to do this tonight. So that means that uh, Team 2. Uh, Lucy's team, well, we, we don't know who's going to be yet. 62, we have 63, 54 who are out, 48 who's out, 27 and 16. Again, the, the, the Lucy's team will be replaced when we end someone new. Team 7, wildcard is 7. And with Lucy being gone, her favourite, or was her favourite, Razor is gone. And obviously B there is gone. But here is the points. B squares winning with 36. Harry Sars 38, B there is gone, 37, she wouldn't further, why is Lindsay? Lindsay Lousy was 26 out, and Ava Griffiths is still on with 23. Remember the outs, but we saw where they would be, apparently. Coach Geezer's out, he would be on 13. Piranha is 13, TPW Woman is 12. Lisa Highland is 10. Razor is out with 10. So some of the people who are quite high are gone now. Next in it will be Peggy with 9, Cruella 8. Aduf Aku 8, he's out though. Andre Martin. Seven got away with Dumas Supernova Tiffy. And then the wild card, El Vecchio with seven. So he's slowly building it up. He's going to be his current line soon. Goffer is seven's out. Don Laws is six. Right, it's five. Santa Claus is five. Han Long Dong, five out. He almost won the wild card, but unfortunately just missed out. And then following that, when the next people set comes up, it's another Captain Captain Alec with four. Literally who with four. Spider two. May Old one who's out. The Blue Silk with one. And the last group, I believe, is going to be none other than CPW Man, who went out today. Private Pain is also out. Planet Ch Chero's out and Fiery Bane's out. They were the ones over the CPW Man there who were part of the wildcard situation and could have actually had, been, had El Vikil's spot right now. 
But unfortunately, that didn't happen. And with that being said, I'm Dexter, and I guess Lindsay won't mind me because I already said it. Beautiful, sexy. April. And the one, the only. And shock. Okay, I'll do it. Let me do it. The doggy! Yeah, ruff, ruff. I wish I'd done that. He kind of looks annoyed at me now. And of course, our beautiful best boobs in the business to keep telling us. And I think it's quite true too. And I think you agree, April. None other than Maxine. She came back. Yay! Bye, everyone. Like, subscribe.